For a long time now, if you wanted to water cool your system, you had one of two options. Either you bought a closed loop sealed liquid cooler, which has some uh, lacking customizability and options, or you bought a bunch of different individual parts, put them together yourself, which, while interesting, can be difficult for those who are not experienced tinkerers. But lately we've been seeing units that offer the convenience of an all-in-one showing up at your door pre-made, but have the expandability of a do-it-yourself solution. Enter the EK Predator 240 and EK Predator 360, which also claim a fairly significant amount more performance. Does it live up to that claim? Stay tuned to find out. The Mastercase 5 by Cooler Master gives you the freedom to truly make your mid-tower PC case your own with a variety of modular parts and accessories. Check the link in the video description to learn more. Now what's interesting about the Predator is that it's not really its own product at all. It's kind of more an assembly of other parts. All of the individual parts, the pump, the rad, the block, etc., you can actually get from EK, including the Vardar fans that are included. So more or less, this is a kit that comes pre-assembled, and that's actually kind of cool. It also comes with a fan hub, which is really nice, and the cable management around the unit is great, although one not necessarily good thing, depending on what your system is configured as, is that the Predator is exclusively an Intel socket cooler. It does not have compatibility for AMD CPUs, so yeah, be wary of that if you are an AMD CPU user. Also, if you are a user of an LGA 2011-3 board that doesn't have mounting screws that go all the way through the PCB, you will need to order special screws from EK's website. Why they don't include this, I don't know, especially considering it's a high-end cooler. I'd, I'd appreciate those four extra screws. The installation went pretty well, except for one pretty significant hiccup. One of the fittings popped out of the block and we had a pretty major leak on our hands going all over our system, which was not fun. It should be noted that expandable AIOs will have a higher likeliness of coming apart than non-expandable ones. A lot of non-expandable ones are heat sealed and stuff, and expandable ones are designed to be able to be taken apart. But it shouldn't pop out after a couple twists and turns from installing it in your system, so that was a bit of a disappointment. Once we were done cleaning everything up, we mounted the Predator 240 inside of our Corsair C70 case and ran IDA64 stability tests on the CPU and then Furmark on the GPU just to kind of heat things up in the system. It performed quite well at 1100 RPMs and even when we cranked the fan speed up to full, they weren't too loud and the performance did improve, which was good to see and good to hear. But since we mentioned earlier, the EK Predator series is an expandable loop, so we wanted to test it with more things in the loop. Thanks EK, they sent us a Titan X water block so that we could use it in the same system. The 240, the EK Predator 240, had some issues bleeding the air bubbles in the loop. That was a little frustrating. So we moved up to the 360, which we kind of wanted to bench anyways, so it was fine. It also features quick disconnects, so it was a lot easier to add something to the loop, because you could just partially take the loop apart without anything leaking, without the need to refill, add things to it, and then keep on moving on. I must note here that we had to just kind of leave the 360 millimeter rad outside of the case. The Corsair C70 that we used doesn't really work with 360 millimeter cases unless you do some pretty intense ghetto modding, and even then, not so much, so we opted to leave it outside. It's not really a fair comparison against the other coolers, but we did crank up Furmark to 4K, and with 4K Furmark running on the GPU and the CPU still being pushed by IDA64 stability test, the temperatures on this thing were pretty impressive. I was quite happy with it. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a more advanced water cooling setup but still don't necessarily want to piece everything together yourself, or if you're experienced and have pieced things together before but just want the premium components, just want to put it in your case relatively quickly, the Predator is not a bad idea. Really high performance, feels very premium all around, has a fan controller built in, all that kind of stuff. It is a little expensive, and if you can fit a 360 millimeter rad in your case, I might recommend actually moving up. It's a lot more cooling, and you get those quick disconnects, which if you are going to expand this system, are really nice, especially because it's not the easiest thing in the world to bleed. Logitech has been in the headphone game for a really long time, and it shows with the G633 Artemis Spectrum headset. 
The G633 is equipped with Logitech's 40mm Pro-G audio drivers, 7.1 Dolby surround sound with Logitech gaming software, a cardioid boom mic which hides away very nicely in the headset, a fully adjustable RGB lighting setup, and custom tags. They're available from a variety of retailers now, including Amazon, and could be a great holiday gift for a PC, Xbox, or even PS4 gamer, or just a great pickup for yourself if you're looking for a new headset. Check them out in the link in the video description down below. If you disliked the video, you probably know what to do. If you did like the video, give it a like, that makes sense. Hit subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Or consider supporting us directly through our Amazon affiliate code by contributing to us on the forum or purchasing a shirt, which isn't from Twitch. How do I always end up in Twitch shirts? I don't know. If you're looking for more stuff to watch, click up here. You can check out other water cooling videos we've done. Made that up on the spot. Tech. that'll be the one you're gonna go to. Just click the button. It's fine.